after an encouraging performance against the league leading Sheffield Steelers last Saturday, Panthers returned to the Motor Point Arena looking to snap their losing streak against the Coventry Blaze side who are also struggling for form currently. Blaze were knocked out of the Challenge Cup by the Steelers in midweek and have lost their last two league games. Panthers desperately need a win if they are to retain hopes of qualifying for the end of season playoffs. Now Caruso. Anderson gets it over to LeMay. Misho will chase it in. Allen will get there first for the Blaze, though. Kirk up in there as well. Kirk up has it now. Looking for Spellacy. Bounces under the stick of Jordan Kelsall. Spellacy will chase him in. Oh, and there's a play. Kirk up right out in front. And Blaze score. A defensive breakdown for the Panthers left Tyler Kirk up all alone and he pops it into the net. Yeah, and I think Panthers were hoping that puck would just clear the blue line. You see that just gets kept in. Great play to keep that player alive. And then, you know, Kirk up all alone in front. Really nice move by him. Into the middle, maybe a chance for Panthers to clear and they do. Into the second minute of this Blaze power play. Yeah, again there, Blaze, you know, decent possession there, keeping the Panthers hemmed in, but I think the Panthers, you know, we... we, we ooh. Oh, chance of a short and a breakaway. Not again. Hugo Wah, oh, he's done it again! short and a goal, number three for Hugo Wah, forces a turnover, and Panthers are level. Absolute madness, yeah, like you said, third short-handed goal. He's the man out there, and as soon as that Blaze player took the, took the fall, you know he was in and he wasn't going to miss. A man full of confidence. It's his third goal in three games for Hugo War. And at 5.37, Panthers' third shorthanded goal of the season. They've all been scored by the number 13, Hugo War. And he makes no mistake there. Back to Thompson. Curran, bit of space, takes the shot. Oh, it almost falls nicely for Norwich on the rebound. Norwich has it now. Back to Thompson. Norwich again. Fires oh, it. Oh, shot. Brady Norwich continues his great point scoring form. And on the power play, Blaze go 2 1 ahead. And Panthers' 15 penalty kill streak is broken. Yeah, and you see Brady, I think he's going to shoot it to start with. And he kind of walks off the wall and he's looking, he's looking. I'm not sure if that took a little deflection there off Jordan Kelso, but a little bit of traffic in front of Rock. But, you know, Brady Norris has a, has a really heavy shot and it definitely hits something just in front. I'm not sure if that maybe cut Tauberg as well. And coming back in again and Christo backhand shot. Can't direct it on net though. Really good opportunity that was. As it comes to McNulty at point, he goes over for Clements. Clements goes left hand side and there's a good chance here and they've found the net again. And Dudek has made it 3-1, and it's two consecutive power play goals for the Coventry Blaze. Yeah, and, and you know what? What the Blaze did a great job of there was keeping recycling that puck. Every time they didn't score or didn't get a chance, they won the battle. They just hard rimmed it back to the blue line, kept the play in the zone, and eventually they were going to wear the Panthers down. They didn't rush it, and eventually they broke through. Blaze win the face-off, which will allow Allen to try and clear the zone. Panthers keep it in through Carl Neal. Keeps it in again. Now, a bit of space for Luciani. Luciani fires it in, and at the back door, it's poked in. I tried to see that. I think that was Felix Pare, and Felix Pare has his first goal. Luciani just firing it at the back oh. door. Oh no, it's, it's a deflection of Norwich. So it is Luciani's goal. Such a tough break for the Blaze. You know, they've, they've done such a good job killing that off. And they get that first block, and then Brady Norris makes the second block and ends up in the back of the net. So, yeah, first goal for Luciani. He'll shoot this one there. I think, you know, he's just trying to get that to the net. But, you know, Brady Norris, such a warrior. He takes that off the shin pad, and, uh, yeah, unfortunately ends up in the back of the net. It's Luciani for the Blaze. Fires in. Oh, it could have fallen anywhere. But it's with Hembrandt. Hembrandt gets it back, and Panthers coming the other way, and there's a spare man! And again, and it's two great saves by Cozen from LeMay, and another! This time from Hembrandt. And that's got the crowd lifted. 
Kozen stands up tall, makes at least two really good saves. This is the first one here, but I think this one here, a bit of a positional save, just kind of hits him, but you see he's at the top of the paint there, and that's a really nice save. And then this one, Hembrandt firing in, and he flashes out the pad. Three good chances there for the Panthers, but Taron Kozen, excellent in net. Dudek picks that off from Hugo Watt. Dudek turns and comes the other way. He's into the zone now, taking on Kelsall. Looked to get it back in the middle for Kirkup, but Nieminen was there, and now gets to Luciani. Luciani, oh, oh brilliant! Oh, what a save by Kozen! Superb play by Luciani. Almost had his second. Yeah, I think what happened was the D-man there could have kind of gone to him straight away, but he thought it was going to be a two-on-one, so he kind of stayed in the middle and, and, and let Luciani kind of, you know, get further from the net, but goes in there, nice save. Oh, a power play coming here for the Panthers. So, uh, a second power play coming for the Panthers as LeMay fires in over the bar. Neil picks it up. Panthers 6 on oh, 5 it's Oh, it's in! Matthew LeMay with a hopeful shot at Panthers R level. It's 3-3, Matthew LeMay. Absolute shot out of nothing as well. Shot over by the wall. Goalie was out. So it was a small six on five. Not sure the forward got in the zone, but yeah, Matthew LeMay just shoots out from the boards and it finds its way through Cozum. Not sure if there was traffic in front. We'll see here. We see Carl Neal picks it up. Yeah, and I it's mean, just... Kozen's oh. just not ready, I don't think, yeah, he doesn't expect that shot coming and just an absolute nothing burger from the boards there and yeah, that just finds its way in. Off both the post and in. And Panthers are level in this one. Six on five for the delay penalty. Now LeMay has to turn away from his man. Goes back for Isaac. Michaud, twisting and turning, gets it to Hembrandt. Goes back to Michaud. Now LeMay, bit of space, LeMay, it's in! Panthers lead, and LeMay has two! And Panthers are two for two on the power play! And Panthers lead for the first time tonight! And, it, and it's another one right through the body of Cozen. You know, no traffic on the outside, right through the body again. I think you'll be disappointed with that, but... Like you said, basically three for three on the power play for the Panthers and LeMay shooting that puck tonight and he gets another one, Panthers lead. See, yeah, yeah, I think Taron Kozen, yeah. who's been so good tonight, but he'll be disappointed with that. Here's Blaze looking to get back on level terms. Oh, it's bounces just wide, Stianovic just got enough on it. Nicely poked away by Carl Neal, and Panthers are coming again. Luciani now gets it again. Luciani, oh, it's just wide. Still at Debray, and it's just wide again. Another power play coming here. Everyone. Here's Pare. Micho right across, fired in. Oh, it just misses the angle. Debray, Luciani. Michaud! Depri again, it's six on five. Great turn by Carl Neal. And Blaze do touch up, and Panthers will go back on the power play. Yeah, great couple of minutes here for the Panthers. You can hear the roof coming off this place. I didn't actually see that, that penalty there. I might see it here, but... Oh, yeah, it's the hit, not sure. That can't be the penalty, surely. That's time in two forces. That's it, uh, McNulty hits. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. 20 seconds left on the power play. Carl Neal goes back. And Luciani. Goes back for Neal. Neal, a bit too heavy for War, and it's a two-on-one developing for the Blaze. Luciani, and he finds the net short-handed. In fact, no, it's just as Blaze come back to full strength. But a turnover and Blaze a level. And that was all Panthers' own doing.
Yeah, and again there, like you, you can just see the time in the background there that it's, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be a shot and a goal, but he'll turn away. That's going to do it, I think, for regulation. Yeah, he's just going to hold it behind, and Blaze will take it into overtime. So a point apiece. Thompson loses that though, and chance of the Panthers to break. It's two on two. Luciani, Luciani, oh, great defensive play. And Hazel Dine doesn't stop it on the blue line. Great opportunity for the Panthers, but superb defending by the Blaze there. Yeah, really good back check, like you said, all the way back to the house. That slide just gets a piece of it, and you know, good, good move by the Panthers. They kind of turn the puck over in, in, in their own slot and and managed to go the other way, but like you said, the Blaze match him there. Now here's LeMay, he's got the man over. It's Neil, gets another opportunity, yes. surely! No, oh, what a save! What a save by I, Taron Cozen! I've got to see that again. I'm not, I'm not going to comment until I've seen it again. There we go, beautiful pass by Cardio. What a... Does it just oh, hit the post? It, it hits the bar, I think, and then, then hits Cozen. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, yeah bar. bar. Yeah. Oh. It was Christo. Comes in wide. Back into the centre. Oh, nice finish. Pat Stojanovic and Christo puts Blaze ahead straight away in this penalty shootout. Yeah, like you said, really cool, calm. We talked about his, uh, you know, all, all the leads he's played and things, and you, you, you see that poise there. He just comes in, really quick shot there to the five hole. Look, has been really good this game. He's had, he's, had, he's had a really good game, one of the best I've seen in this building from him this year. Alexander Lunqua, and he, looking for the five hole, but Taron Cozen shuts the door, so Blaze hold the advantage after the first round of penalty shots. Yeah, we've seen him with that move a couple of times this year already, and, you know, it's so, so good for him. He's so good around the net, and, you know, he, he looks to pick that spot. You, you see his eyes are up all the time. He's staring right at the goalie, and... So McNulty. Oh, it's off the post! So close to a Blaze victory. But still, Panthers have to score. Yeah, like you said, when Nolte comes in, you see just good patience, good patience. I thought he was going to try and go 5 for, but he just tries to raise it over the blocker. But Rock makes himself big there and forces McNulty to shoot over. Oh, good speed here. Niaminen, but it's saved by Kozen and Blaze take the extra point. Panthers wait for a victory, goes on. But great, they great get point, the point. Though. Yeah, you know what, really good point. A little bit of an up and down game in, in terms of lead change, but do you know what, some, again, some really good signs that Panthers get a point and, you know, I think really good effort by everybody. Blaze will be happy, you know, Cozen big there in the shootout and they take the extra point back.